Mm -hmm. If you work hard in a different way. This is one of those toxins on your body. It, like you see one reef or something? Yeah, it's more bottom set as one reef. So you know it's underneath there. Yeah. Yo. Have like 20. I'm not a half a man, I'm not a count. I never count them.
The wall, same time. <laughs> what? Uh, the wall, yeah. The industrious one. The same cook. Wash. Render wall. Well, pass it here, though. Wake up here. Yeah, full one time, put my pot. Mm -hmm. Put on it. I am here, me cook. Here, here, I'm on some dash here. Alright guys, so we are back on the beach again. Uh, we're going to do a little cook up. To be quite honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to cook. Um, we did catch some doctor fish, so I'm going to do something to it. I'm guessing I'll probably do like uh, some jerk, like some jerk doctor fish or something. I'm going to experiment. Because that's cooking. You must experiment. Um, then we have some yams. I'm going to try to do some roast yams with that. So that's going to be the motive for today the ingredients again are very basic just garlic ginger pepper pimento thyme escalion cinnamon you know those basic stuff that you use to make um uh what you call it jerk sauce and um yeah <laughs> i'm excited to do this one um it's not so late in this evening it's about three o'clock going to four all right so hope you enjoy So, one of the first ingredients I'm going to be using in this is going to be some nutmeg. It's a little bit of nutmeg powder. 
It's only two small fish, so we don't need a lot of ingredients. So nutmeg powder, that's good. Uh, some thyme, dropping in some thyme in there. I'll leave back a few of the stalks, but I don't want too many twigs, you know, interfering with my meal. I'm sure the stalks are flavor, but I'm going for mostly soft twigs or the leaves, of course. And then some ginger. For me, the skin, I don't really care about it. I mean, it's a part of it. But I'm gonna try to remove as much as I can. What some people do too, they normally like scrub it, use a thing and scrub it off to get rid of most of the skin. But just the hard parts I'm trying to remove. And yeah, I'm good with that. Of course, a pepper. It's supposed to be a jerk seasoning, so I do want it to have some kick. Um, you must know the pepper that you're using. So yesterday I did use um, the pepper. It didn't seem the hottest, so I'll use a bit of the skin and a couple of the seeds. I know the Jamaican, they must say, yo, that's a good hot, you know. But I think that's safe. And... Some garlic here. And escalion. I mean, I could use onions, but like onions and escalions are to me are pretty similar. So I'm not gonna use the onions today. I'm gonna leave it simple there. I'm gonna grind this up for a bit. Add a little coconut oil to help the movement. Pimento berries. Sorry if you can't see inside the bowl too good. <laughs> Because I left a mount from a camera that would have allowed you to see, but next time cooking in a kitchen like this is very it's it's different. You're gonna lose things, you're gonna miss things, you're yeah, it's not like a typical home kitchen. Worst case, you're also filming, so it's a bit strange. But I'll get used to it the more I do it. But that's what it looks like so far. When it's done, I'll show you the end result. You guys can see it coming together really good. And it smells really good too. It doesn't smell very spicy. Let me taste that. Oh, wow. Yep. It is spicy. I definitely don't need any more pepper. Because again, the doctor fish I'm cooking is very small, so.
All right, I think that's good enough. Nice, nice little pasty consistency. I think that's okay. So, and that's the second hardest part, doing the seasoning, I believe. All right, so now that the fish is all uh, washed off, I'm just gonna add a bit of salt to it. Here you have to be careful because, as I said, those spines or spikes or whatever you call them, I'm not talking about this because, of course, these are the fins, but these things here could be very sharp and the bones as well. So, gradually work that little salt into there. I know my hands are pretty salty right now, so I'm not too worried. about it getting enough salt. Now let me taste it. Yeah, I could use a little bit more. Alright, I think that's enough. Now to add our seasoning that we worked so hard on. <laughs> so the stomach is very important to get seasoning into it. Do that first. Get it into the insides. Alright, I think that's good. And then the rest we can just put on top, no big deal. So I nine more to you know. Play with them. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut oil so that they don't stick too much to the pan when they are getting a little jerk roasting or whatever you want to call it. Oh, there's nothing like organic coconut oil it smells so good it's very expensive but it's worth it bet on your health and it had some good flavor you know all right That tastes good already. Alright, so I don't really have a grill or anything, so I'm gonna use this. <laughs> My mom's gonna kill me. Anyway, I'm gonna use that right there as my little makeshift grill top, and I think that should work. Yeah, nice surface, should be good.
tasted it, it looks really good. And I tasted it just now, and it was really good. Must have made it. Get a little bit more on this side here. And then we can take it off. That's a yam right there. Eh. It's gonna be tricky to do this because this yam is super hot. I'm gonna use my little cards here. Last time I had breadfruit and I was peeling it because I was hungry in a rush and some people were hurt about it. That's not how you peel a breadfruit. Uh, people are crazy. Uh. Alright, so just took up a bit of the yam. Um, Oh wow. Mm-hmm. It's cooked through. Yam by itself doesn't even need any seasoning or anything. Try a piece of the fish with the yam. There is just one small thing I wanted to try was to put a little bit of orange onto a piece of the fish. This is a, let me taste the orange first. It's a sweet orange. I know fish goes good with lime. So I'm gonna experiment a little bit here. Good to experiment so. Add a little bit of orange onto the fish. Wow. I actually prefer that over lime. Oh my gosh. I should have brought a fork, but I didn't. Damn. fish I indeed love the orange on top of it I think it's less it's less intense than the um, what you call it than the lime or lemon and let me tell you the skin I'm so sad that the skin of this kind of burnt out a bit but the skin it holds the most flavor on this fish yo let me tell you Small parts here with the skin. Oh, 
so good. It's so good. Normally I know people put like butter or um, salt on the yam, but I don't know. This is just fun. Kind of coconut oil, skin burn thing. Wow. Wow. Crime. Yo, that was so freaking good. Yo, if you guys like this video, give this video 2,000 likes. I think that's easy for you guys. I'm sure about 5,000 people are going to watch. So just give it 2,000 likes. I'd appreciate that. And we'll definitely do more videos like this um, where we go by the beach or in the forest, wherever the case is, and experiment with food. You know, do something different and just relax and enjoy life a bit. Yo, my stomach is so full. I'm sure I ate about a pound of yam, pound and a little bit of yam <laughs> but it was really good but anyway guys, um, if you want to see more videos like these or drop some comments, tell me what you want to see me cook once I'm able to cook it, I will do it but remember you see things, love, nature, adaptation and always remember man, keep the link alright guys, so you're at the end of another cool catch and cook video so right now I'm going to read out a couple of your comments from the very last video but this part of the video is actually sponsored by Dashlane. Yo, I'm so happy that they decided to work with me after using their application. And they're giving my subscribers full 30-day premium access to the application on the very first device. Now, one of the main reasons why I love Dashlane is I can't remember all the passwords that I have. Like, for example, currently I'm locked out of my TD Bank account because I did not remember the password. Now, with Dashlane, you can choose to save any password that you find, you know, a bit difficult to remember and you can have a master code to unlock that. So with Dashlane, you can easily click on the TD account, which I can do now, and get the password unlocked. So, guys, click the link in the description box. That's where you're going to have access to the free 30-day premium access to dash lane anyway let's jump into the comments now the very first comment is coming from amy morton amy says jamaica nice and sweet indeed had some great curry lobster a few times i was there my family is from trinidad we eat a lot of curry crab also nothing like sweet curry seafood period yo that's a fact um and <laughs> this one is from lincoln maxwell he says big up the ghetto yotes them good vibes all right cool but anyway thanks again dashlane for actually giving full premium access to all my subscribers yo guys jump in the link in the description box you'll be able to access it there and that also helps me and it helps the channel so we could do more cool videos like the catch and cook that you just watched anyway guys remember to see things love nature adaptation and always remember keep the link